Anything Cooking, where you see cooking from my point of view. Today we are going to make roasted red pepper semolino focaccia. Uh, for those of you who don't know, focaccia is a flat bread. A lot of folks think it's like a, a thick crust pizza without sauce. And it's probably not too far from the truth. That's kind of what it looks like. Um, as you guys have seen in my past videos, I bake a lot of bread. I haven't made a lot of focaccia bread. This is a good break from uh, the normal breads, just something different. And I uh, actually kind of enjoyed it and probably going to be doing some different variants of focaccia going forward, so look out for those videos. Now back to this bread. Focaccia bread has roots clear back to the Roman times where there were several different uh, flatbreads. You'll see different stories about where it came from, who it came from, but it definitely came from Italy. I'm really excited about this video, so let's get started. We're gonna take a real quick look at the ingredients for our roasted red pepper semolina focaccia. Our first two ingredients are one cup of lukewarm water, right around 105 degrees Fahrenheit, and two and one quarter teaspoons of instant yeast or one package of instant yeast, same thing. We're gonna pour that into our water. Then we're gonna give it a real quick stir, like a little plastic stir stick. Do not use anything metal. All right, that has to sit for 10 minutes. Two cups unbleached all-purpose flour. One cup of semolina flour. Two tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna use some more olive oil to uh, brush this focaccia with when it comes time but this goes actually into the dough. I have four small cloves of garlic here. We're gonna chop these up, uh, mince them up finely. And then of course, roasted red pepper. And I have some uh, coarse sea salt here. This is actually coarse Moldovan sea salt, very large flake. Um, one thing that's not pictured here is some oregano because I forgot to get it. We have to let our yeast bloom for about 10 minutes. So while we're waiting on that, we can get started on some of our other ingredients. The first being, I'll we'll move some stuff out of the way here. First being our garlic. You want about two big cloves of garlic. I've got little tiny cloves here. Cutting off the woody ends. All I'm gonna do is mince this up. This is gonna go right into the dough. I think I have my garlic minced up finely enough. So what I'm gonna do, scrape this up, put it in one of these handy dandy little bowls here. The next ingredient we're gonna get ready is our roasted red peppers. For our roasted red peppers, what we want is we want about a quarter cup of the red peppers, just kind of roughly chopped. You don't have to be exact with this. This looks like about, looks like it will be about a quarter cup once we get this chopped up. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty much a quarter cup. It's pretty darn close. I am gonna go ahead and continue to get a little bit more here. I wanna get a good quarter cup of these roasted red peppers. And again, this is gonna go right in the dough. Now we're gonna use some more of these at the end to uh, kind of top our dough before we put it in the oven. Close enough. We're gonna go with that. So I think my yeast is pretty much ready. We're gonna go with it. So what we want to do is olive oil. That's two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Two big cloves. I got four small cloves of garlic, very finely minced. Goes right into our water and a quarter cup of roasted red pepper, chopped up nice and fine, right into our water. I'm gonna start with the paddle bit. I'm gonna let this kind of mix for just a second to kind of get everything kind of mixed around in there. Now, we're gonna come in with our flour. We're gonna mix these together here. Don't have to worry about mixing them up real good. Just gonna kind of give them a quick mix here. All right, so this goes right in. And it goes slow with it. All right, night down into our mixer. We're gonna let this paddle 
do its job here until it's got everything kind of mixed together. Looks pretty good. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that feels good. You know, your dough should be slightly sticky. A wetter dough is a better dough. It could be harder to work with when it's wetter, but dough needs that moisture to rise. So I've got my dough hook on now. I'm gonna let this dough hook do its job. We're gonna knead this dough for, uh, we'll say three, four minutes. Our bread has been kneading away for about three minutes. So our mixer's done its job. What I'm gonna do, we're gonna put some olive oil in this bowl. I'm gonna make sure I've got it all coated so the dough doesn't stick. So there we go, I've got my olive oil all moved around there, kinda made sure all the sides are coated. Get this dough nice and sticky. I like the way this dough turned out. I like a sticky dough. You can see, maybe, that those roasted red peppers have given the dough a nice pinkish hue. We're gonna put that dough in our well-oiled bowl and we're gonna cover this airtight. We don't want any air to be able to escape, any of that moisture to escape. We're gonna cover it, let it sit for an hour and a half. So it's been about an hour and a half and you can see that our dough has risen. It's doubled in size, that's perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I have a metal sheet pan here. This is just a pan I've had forever. You can see it's all covered in stains and whatnot. That just means it gets a lot of use. Now what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of olive oil and rub that on the bottom of the pan. We're just gonna kind of spread that around evenly. Don't gotta get too neat with it. Just make sure that you coat the bottom of your pan so your dough doesn't stick. That's about as musical as I get. I have no talent whatsoever musically. All right, so I got a nice thin coat of olive oil. Now I'm gonna do, turn my dough out. And what we really wanna do, we wanna get this into a rectangular light shape, a consistent thickness. There we go, that looks like it's about, oh, a nice three quarter inch. I feel like I have it consistent across my pan. Let me go a little bit more. I can feel some little bits of, of uh, garlic in there. That's awesome. That's gonna be good once it bakes. Now what we're gonna do, we are going to cover this just I'm gonna lay that over top. We're gonna to let this rest for 15 minutes. And really what we're want, what this step is gonna do, uh, the waiting for 15 minutes, is just gonna relax the glutens for our next step. So it's been 15 minutes. The glutens have relaxed. So what I'm gonna do is very carefully pull my plastic off. So one of the things that makes focaccia bread unique is the dimples that you see. Those dimples do a couple different things for the bread. One that they do that's kind of my favorite is they capture some of the olive oil that we're gonna drizzle at the end of this. Another thing that the dimples do is they allow the bread to kind of cook evenly. It seems kind of counterintuitive that those dimples would allow the bread to cook evenly, but it kind of allows that the heat to flow all through the, the dough as it, as it becomes a bread. So what we're gonna do is you just take your fingers, push it down. You wanna push it clear to the bottom of the pan. You wanna fill the pan under your fingers. You wanna heavily, heavily dimple this bread just with random dimples and stab. You can see I'm going clear through the pan. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take my finger and make sure that I haven't missed any spots. And as I go along, if I see a spot that has been undimpled, I'm gonna dimple it. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I mean, I could get, you could get crazy with those dimples. We're not gonna do that. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take my plastic. I'm going to cover this back up. And this is gonna set for 45 minutes. It's been 45 minutes. My oven's been warming to 425 for the last 30 minutes. And you can see our bread is pretty much ready. I'm gonna go ahead and take the plastic off nice and slowly. Show you the bread, nice and dimpled. Actually, it's still dough at this point. I wanna say bread, but it's dough. So now our next step. This is a roasted red pepper 
focaccia. Actually, it's roasted red pepper semolina focaccia. So we did put some roasted red peppers inside. Well, we're also gonna put some that fork out of here. We're gonna use our fingers. I got clean fingers. I washed them yesterday. So what I'm gonna do is, my wife's over there kind of looking at me since I said I washed them yesterday. I've actually washed them. I'm just gonna kind of randomly lay around my red pepper strips here. This is just your average jarred roasted red pepper. There's nothing special about it. It's not like, you know, this is imported deluxe roasted red pepper. It's just roasted red pepper. Now, next step, I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil. And let's get her drizzling. I wanna, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take a brush, I'm trying to lightly drizzle. Yeah, you know, sometimes when you get a pour of olive oil, it's hard to kind of control it. it it's either, it's kind of like feast or famine. It's all or nothing. Got a little brush here. I'm going to take this brush and very lightly, very, very lightly, kind of brush that olive oil around. I don't want too much of it to collect in the dimples. Some of it will, and that's just the way it is. But... We can lightly take our brush and move it around. Now, I'm being very, very light because I don't want to deflate my bread at this point. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more olive oil over here. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Good, 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 good. All right, I feel like I've done a pretty good job with that. Right there, looks like a little dry spot. Can't have that. Can't have that, all right. At some point, you just got to say, I'm done. Next step, I'm going to take a tiny, tiny little bit of oregano and put on this just to add a little bit more flavor. You know, I've, I, you guys have seen, if you watched any of my videos, you know, I, I bake a lot of bread. And I always talk about the flavor of the bread. Well, the thing with focaccia, of course, it, it's going to have flavor from just the bread, the bread itself. But you also get these wonderful toppings to inject even more flavor. Now, it looked like I was sprinkling a lot of oregano, but I was being very, very careful to not sprinkle very much oregano at all. Another thing I'm gonna do with this wonderful kacha to step it up even more, is I have some sea salt flakes. So these are very, very large pieces of salt. And we're gonna sprinkle this all over our wonderful focaccia. Don't want it to, I don't want to, you know, like, put a whole bunch in one spot, but what this is gonna do, it's gonna give a, a nice little snap when you bite in, you're gonna get a little bit of salty goodness and who wouldn't like that, right? That's good. I'm gonna place this wonderful, beautiful dough in my oven for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna keep an eye on it after about 20 minutes. I want it to, you know, nice little collar to it. Don't wanna over bake it. Um, 425, 20 to 25 minutes, then we'll be back. I just checked on our focaccia. It looks beautiful. It's ready to come out of the oven. So I'm gonna grab it here real quick. Oh, this looks good. Look at this beautiful bread. Let me zoom in so you guys can see that a little better. That bread is beautiful and hot, 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 hot. Ow, that burned. We're gonna let this cool. I'm not gonna disturb it. I really wanna take it off that pan. It's like, it's like digging at me, I'm like, get it off the pan. But I'm not going to. I'm gonna let this cool for four or five minutes. And we'll get a little slice and we'll see how we did. My roasted red pepper, semolino focaccia, has been cooling. It's still warm and I can't wait. I really wanna try this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut me off a little hunk here. A hunk of hunk of burning bread. We're going to cut this little corner off. I say little corner. This would make a heck of a good sandwich. It's so big. All right. So let's cut a piece here and give this a shot. I'll tell you the smell. It smells really good. It's got, you know, roasted red peppers are a little bit sweet. So it's kind of got a, you can smell the red pepper. That's good. Mm, it's good. You get a nice salty flavor from the salt flakes, just a hint of oregano. There's just enough oregano on there to give it a hint. You can taste the garlic 
that we put in the dough. This is incredible. It's visually appealing. It tastes great. This is something I'm gonna I'm gonna be experimenting with focaccia. You guys are gonna see some focaccia videos, so be prepared. Incredible. Highly recommend this one. And with that, thank you so much for watching POV Italian Cooking. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. Most importantly, click that subscribe button in YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Leave me a comment, send me an email, and ciao.